If you haven't yet, please download my background and airplane for this tutorial. Link is below. And uh, this idea of the airplane was actually given to us by a subscriber. So if you have any more suggestions of another video you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments below. So we're going to pick our widescreen size here for our project. And before we do anything else, I'd like to change the length of this animation because it'll be a little longer than usual. So let's go to properties and duration and let's just pick 15 seconds. And now you should have your downloaded illustration imported already in here. Now go down to the airplane layer and long press and convert layers to tracks. Okay, so now we wanna go down to the background layer and we're going to just resize it. So bring the playhead to the beginning. Just make sure you can click on move and move in scale and go ahead and resize it to fit the area here. Now I want to zoom in because we're going to resize this later to make it look like the airplane is flying toward us. So now let's go to the actual uh, background here and I would like to just change the color of the picture just to show you how to do it. So click on this playhead, make sure it's the playhead and click filter and HSB. So now you can change it to any color you'd like and I want to make it more of a pink hue. Okay, that looks good. Now let's resize the airplane. So go to the background layer or track and just uncheck it so that we can just see the airplane. So click on the airplane group and bring the playhead to the beginning. And we're going to just resize the airplane to a larger size, which will be the final size that you would like the airplane to be. And go ahead and recheck this checkbox so we can see the background again. Now zoom in a little so we can work on the propeller. So let's go to this group here, the airplane group, and the gray little track is the propeller track. So click on that, long press, rename it, and let's just rename it to propeller. Click on the propeller track now, and bring the playhead to the beginning. Now we're going to add a track, and click the draw tool. Let's pick the airbrush brush, airbrushing and soft brush, and the color can be white. So the size can be about one or two percent, and make sure opacity is all the way up. Let's go to one percent here. Okay, and just start making squiggly lines kind of like this. Just imagine seeing a propeller moving very fast. And notice that I'm actually drawing outside of the actual propeller, and you'll see what we can do next. And go down here and do the same thing. Okay, looks great. Now we want to long press on this track and fill duration and long press and go to mask here and clipping mask and notice it's now only on the propeller and the opacity is less because the propeller's opacity was less as well. So it looks pretty good. And click done. Now click on the playhead. Let's go to the three dots up here and edit anchor. This is so the propeller doesn't move around while we spin it. We want to take the anchor and just put it right in the center of the propeller. Click the perform button but tap the little handle and grab the curve mark and just start spinning. And you can see the propeller is now spinning and it's recording our live movement. Okay, swipe the playhead left and take a look. Okay, it looks great. Now let's uh, go to the airplane group here. Make sure you're on the top level. And now we're going to start moving the airplane around so it looks like it's actually flying. So let's bring the playhead to the beginning here. Click the perform button and tap the little handle here until you see the rotate mark. And just grab that and just move the plane however you like. Rotate it, spin it around. I'm gonna make him fly upside down and come back. Just whatever motions you like to do. Rotating, spinning motions and take a look. Yeah, it looks great. Mm -hmm. 
press stop and bring the playhead to the beginning again and now we're going to actually move the plane around so let's click the playhead move move and scale and just grab anywhere and start moving it left and right now I don't know anything about physics and aerodynamics but just make it look good and whatever you're happy with how the airplane moves and that's fine so just keep doing this until the end of our timeline and let's take a look all right that looks pretty good okay now let's bring the playhead back to the beginning and click move move in scale and just grab a handle and just shrink it down so it looks like the plane's flying toward us. Now click the record button and grab the handle. And now we're just going to increase the size gradually until it gets to the size that we would like. And just stop whenever he's at the size that you want. Okay, that looks great. And now for the last part, let's go ahead and go to the background, bring it to the beginning Click on the playhead, click move, move and scale. Now just zoom out until you see the handles here. Click on the three dots and edit anchor. We want to do the same thing, put it in the middle of this picture here. Click done. Go ahead and click record. And let's go to modify. And I like to bring it up to about 20%, just so it's a little more stable. Click modify again and grab the handle here and just start bringing it down, making it smaller. You can see it looks like he's actually flying toward us now. And that should do it. Press the stop button and four fingers to watch it in full screen. And there you have it. I hope this level up tutorial can help you increase your skills using Procreate Dreams. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please check out my links below, like my children's book and online shop. Click on these videos to continue leveling up with Procreate Dreams. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.